What we're going to do next is discuss how data is actually stored in memory. In our case, data means matrices. So here is a concrete example of a matrix. And we have a choice of how to store this. Okay? We could say, well, let's store this element and then that element and then that element and then that element, etc. But obviously, we would want to be a little bit more organized than that. So what people do is they make a choice. They say, well, we're going to store the matrix a column at a time, or we're going to store a matrix a row at a time. Storing a matrix a column at a time is known as column major order, and storing a row at a time is known as uh, row major order. Computational science used to use the Fortran programming language to program, and the Fortran programming language chose to store matrices by columns, column major order. And as a result, we're going to also store using column major order, but we're going to map the uh, matrices more explicitly to memory so we can actually control this. So let's have a look at this. What does column major order mean? Well, we have the numbers here. What I've done here is I have written the first column first, and then the second column, and then the third column. Now, if this here is the address where the matrix is stored, so let's call this matrix matrix A, then it may be that this first entry is stored at address A, and to then address that first entry, we could say evaluate at A0. And then the next entry is stored at A1, A2, and so forth. 